Catherine Hunter Williams, Jeffrey Mianza. What would you prefer? Oh, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> All three names. Any we can use them in any combination. All right, anyway. yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start over again. So we got together a year ago and invited some folks from Mentally Healthy Norfolk. I'd reached out to John Roars, and he introduced me to uh, a lot of the partners we've been working with since then uh, to cultivate the community conversation around every brilliant thing. And just this week, we then invited a lot of that group back and a wider group of mental health uh, professionals to continue this conversation. And it was a it was a really remarkable early rehearsal run. I've never mm -hmm. had a designer run before that had that many people there. Mm -hmm. But also just the, and in this play, the audience is a part of the action in such a deep way. Actually having an audience that didn't know the piece, that was coming to it with fresh eyes, it was a really different experience in mm -hmm. terms of the way it was being perceived in a room. I, I watched Jeff's run, Jeff watched my run. We had a sort of varying size of audiences, and that was surprising. I mean, you don't know what people's lives are in the room, mm -hmm. and so how it landed on some of the audience members was so different than how we had been rehearsing it. How there are moments in the play that the audience is receiving in a particular way that I found completely unexpected. You know, laughing at certain things that mm -hmm. hadn't hit us in the same way, and uh, and but then consistently between our two runs, they they were laughing at similar things. So it's it's you know you it's like discovering the play again. There were some delightful surprises mm -hmm. uh, in both <laughs> runs. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that was really fun. But there's also things that were like I talked to somebody today who had a, a deeply emotional response to something that I had not scene coming at all. Mm. It was a scene that we were like, oh yeah, this thing happens. And that was what hit them. Yeah. But I think the thing that's beautiful about the play is it has so much humor, it has so much joy mm -hmm. that um, it doesn't leave you in those places. Yeah. And as an artist, what a great um, experience to not only be thinking about, you know, the piece and the words, but then also sort of, you know, the logistics of, mm -hmm. oh, where are people and what, how's the room shaped and being open to receiving what you're getting in the moment, right. which is what we do, right? I mean, that's what that's what we train to do, but it's, it, it allows uh, a beautiful experience, I think, both for the audience and for the artist. Yeah. So we hope you come and join us for Every Brilliant Thing running on stage at the Wells uh, for the dates that you see below. Uh, it's a fantastic project. It's been a joy working with you, uh, with Sarah, with Ollie, uh, her fantastic dog who's over there in the corner, and uh, this entire incredible design team. Uh, I'm thrilled for this production. Oh, is that where's food? Where's food? I don't have any food. Hello, you little. Little. You're not little.